When you're hosting a video podcast or important recording, trying to deal with audio settings and waiting room and the live chat can split your attention from actually making great content. That's why when you use Riverside, you can invite someone specifically as a producer. A producer can adjust participant volume settings, accept guests from the waiting room, and deal with the technical aspects of your recording, leaving you to focus on your guests and your show. You can invite someone else to be a producer in your studio or join your own studio as a producer. Here's how to do both. To invite a producer to your recording, when you first enter the studio, you can click the dropdown that says Guest and select Producer and then copy that link or send an email to the person you want to invite. If multiple people are already in the call, you can click the Invite People button up at the top. After someone clicks that link to join as a producer, they'll be presented with this screen. They can enter their name and they'll see the producer tag next to it. You can choose I'm using headphones or not using headphones, and they can choose mic, camera, or speakers. They can also turn these off and still be a producer without anyone seeing or hearing them. Producers are also not recorded as a part of the call. And that's important to remember. If you invite someone as a producer and you record the call, they will not have separate audio and video tracks once the call has ended. Producers are not recorded. Once the producer has their settings, they can hit continue. It will describe the role as producer. Again, video and audio won't be recorded. They can manage guests in the lobby, monitor and adjust audio levels, and just keep an eye on the show overall. This is what the Riverside interface looks like when you are a producer. When you invite a producer to the recording, they actually won't have a button to start and stop recording. That's reserved only for the host of that studio. When you join as a producer and it's your studio, you can record, and I'll show you that in a moment. Producers have full control of their mic, camera, and speaker access, and they can also turn those off if they want to be a silent producer and not be seen or heard on the call. Producers can also share their screen, which is helpful if you want to do a screen share session during the recording, but you as the host don't want to have to split your attention between screen sharing and the rest of your guests. So the producer can share their screen, control the content, and you can focus on your recording. Producers can see the audio levels of each participant and even adjust those audio levels if necessary. And producers can see the microphone input, speakers, and camera being used by all the participants. Producers also have access to see guests in the waiting room and can approve them to join the recording or deny them and they'll be removed from the call. Another great feature of Riverside is you can actually invite audience members to observe a recording and actually do a live call in. When an audience member has a question they wanna to add to the recording, a producer or the host can actually admit them into the call and then that audience member will be recorded. As a producer, you'll see when a guest has a live call-in request and you can accept or deny their request and they'll actually become a part of the call when you accept. Once that audience member has asked their question, you can then remove them from the call so they're still not there and they won't be recorded once you remove them. Once the host or host producer of the recording stops recording, then the producer can also end the call for all participants. The producer can tap the leave button and then end meeting for all. As always, you get the upload status there and you can make sure all of your guest recordings get uploaded before they close their browser window. Now, if this is your studio and you're the host of the recording, you can also join as a producer and then your video and audio won't be recorded, but you still have all your host permissions and producer access. Before you jump into your studio on this screen, you can click join as producer. You'll then see the producer tag next to your name. You say if you're using headphones or not and hit continue. Once you enter the studio, now you have access to all of your settings as the host and producer. So as a host producer, you can actually start the recording of your call right here. Plus you can invite others as producers, guests, or audience members. Again, the big difference between a host producer and someone you invite to produce your recording, a host producer can start and stop recordings and have access to all the settings, while an invited producer has access to audio settings, participant volume levels, can accept guests from the waiting room, do audience live call-ins, but an invited producer does not have the ability to start and stop recordings. Only the host of a studio can start and stop recordings. Also, producers you invite to a recording don't have access to all the participant recordings, their video and audio tracks, by default. You can invite someone to access those recordings separately, but inviting someone to be a producer on the call does not automatically give them access to those recordings. Producer mode is a great way to give someone else access to all the technical settings, audio, guests, live chat, so you can focus on your guests, your show, and making great content. Leave a comment below and let us know how you use producer mode or how you use Riverside. And drop a like if you learned something and subscribe to the channel because we have lots of content on podcast creation, video creation, using Riverside for business, and a lot more. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.